So, um, seeing as Robert is not around, I don't know, I hope he's well. Uh, Dokowe, if you are ready, I think you're next in line. Um, yes, I am. Okay. So, Kadeo, if you can unshare your screen. Thank you so much again, Kadeo. And then we'll give an opportunity to Dokowe. Uh, so, as, Kade as, as uh, Dokowe is setting up, by the way, um, like I said, I'm co-supervising Kadeo. His principal supervisor or primary supervisor is the librarian, who is Mrs. Christine Kanyengo. Um, but the next speaker I'm supervising and is being called, she's being co-supervised by Dr. Kandela. So, uh, the co the floor is yours and she's a first year master's student. Okay, good evening to everyone. Um, my name's uh, Dokowe Tembo. I'm a first year master's student. Sorry, Dokowe, I don't think you've shared your screen yet. Why well, haven't? Well, maybe it's just me, I can't see. Oh, okay, no, no, no. Um, have I shared it now? Um, yes, we can, I can see something now, yes. You okay. can see Bumba to Baker Research is a bit, yeah, okay, great. Yeah. So, um, as I said, my name's Atoko Etembo. My research topic is, uh, my proposed research topic is a usability evaluation of university library portals in Zambia. Dr. Piri is my main supervisor with Dr. Aka as a co-supervisor. So I'll go straight into the presentation. Um, that's the outline of the presentation. Um, we'll start with the background statement of the pro problem, significance, theoretical framework, up until um, research questions. So um, the background of the, the study is that um, with the liberalization of the Zambian economy, we've seen an influx or an increase in the number of um, universities. According to the Higher Education Authority, currently Zambia has 60 universities, both private and public. And um, we all know that each university with, or higher learning institution to exist needs to have a library. So driven by the effort to serve um, customers better, many libraries of higher educational institutions have developed and implemented library portals. A web portal is a type of site designed to present to the user the ability to visit and providing a link to another site. With the increase of the number, in the number of library portals comes the need for usability evaluation of these portals. So simply put, usability is considered as one of the most important aspects for the success of any technological product. So according to Laser, Fenn and Horchester, a usability problem is something that is confusing, misleading or suboptimal in interface. Assessing web usability has now, an, has now become an essential requirement to improve universities' websites. So we'll go straight into the statement of the problem. As I had mentioned earlier, we have seen an increase in the number of universities in Zambia. And these universities are being regulated by a statutory, statutory body called the Higher Education Authority. And one of the, um, the regulations stipulated by this body are that libraries need to provide e-resources and subscriptions to international journals and databases. And from experience or from exposure, we've seen that most of these international universities are providing these e-resources by having their libraries create library portals. So our problem now, or we are trying to find out is how have university in Zambia actually adopted these portals? And if they have, how are they going about doing it? So if they have adopted them, are these portals friendly? What is the usability state of these portals as effective and efficient channels of knowledge delivery? So we go on to the research objectives. The main objective of the study is to evaluate the usability of university library portals in Zambia. Then we have the specific objectives being, um, firstly, to investigate whether universities in Zambia have adopted library portals. Secondly, 
to investigate how the libraries have implemented their portals, and thirdly, to explore the user's perceptions on usability of these library portals. We go on to our research questions, which are basically a mirror of our specific research objectives, except in question form. Then um, the significance of the study will be to provide answers to the effectiveness of the information design of these Zambian university academic library portals as information communication channels and if there is need to change and improve the current portals. Also, the findings will add to the already existing literature in the field of website usability of the academic library portals and may prompt further research in the future. Um, our theoretical framework will, of the research will be based on the study by Venkatesh and others because it enables the studying of acceptance and visa fee, non-acceptance and non-use of technology. This theory is called the Unified Theory of Acceptance and Use of Technology, and it contains four determinants of IT use, user behavior. In this case, we are looking at the library portal. So the four determinants that we expect that will with our library portal will be from the user's point will be the performance expectancy, effort expectancy, social influence, and facilitating conditions, which will be moderated by the four variables, which are gender, age, experience, and voluntariness of use. These um, characteristics, or rather variables, are important are very important in understanding the characteristics of different user groups. In this case, as I mentioned, the library portals. Um, the literature review, I went through a lot of literature, but I, for time's sake, I just summarized this and came up with these authors. So the first one being Manisha and Pent, who focused on the importance of um, portals in an institution and highlighted the need for portal development to take place across traditional institutional structures. Secondly, Alquefa and Rida highlighted that the library's homepage represents a new platform for delivery of varieties of library services and gives academic libraries the leverage and ammunition the need to out outperform competitor websites and gain loyalty of students, teachers, and researchers. And lastly, Judy um, best her study on ISO 9241-11, developed a usability evaluation model for, lib for digital libraries and aspects of evaluation attributes that are based on effectiveness, efficiency, satisfaction, and learnability. When we come to our research methodology, um, so the research design of this proposed research will be based on a mixed method design that will combine both quantitative and qualitative approaches. This mixed method research design will further take a convergent parallel mixed method, which will involve me, the researcher, converging or merging quantitative and qualitative data, data in order to provide a comprehensive analysis of the research problem. So our Research methodology will be stage by stage according to the objectives. So our first objective being, we want to know if universities in Zambia have adopted these library portals. So the first step we'll take is, um, we'll look at our population. In this case, we have 60 registered universities under the HEA and our participants will be the focal contact points that will get from the HEA and we'll sample them by using a purposive sampling technique because they have, we are purposively, purposively start sampling them. And our data measurement instrument will send out questionnaires for those in Osaka and may visit them physically if circumstances allow, or will electronically send out questionnaires. Then the second objective, will be based on the results obtained from the first objective. So the, the population in this case will be the number of 
universities that have adopted library portals, which at the moment we do not know. And the participants will be the librarians and IT professionals involved in setting up and content management of the portals at each university. We shall use purposive sampling in this case, and um, the interviews will be scheduled with the librarians and IT professionals. For those in remote locations, we shall schedule telephone interviews, and definitely they will all be recorded for to ensure everything is captured. Last objective, which now involves the actual usability of the library portals. Again, this will be based on what will be obtained in objective one. We'll, in this case, our participants will be the students. who we'll use stratified random sampling. And our sample determination um, using that formula from literature, which will end up giving us a sample size of 384. We, our data measurement instruments will be questionnaires, both physically and electronically. And um, we'll analyze all the data obtained using SPSS for the quantitative data and the, the thematic way for the qualitative data. And fin finally, we go to our ethical clearance. First things first, we'll definitely get approval from the UNSA Research and Ethics Committee. Then we'll respect um, the respondents' confidentiality, their rights and values will be respected, and their findings will be used for academic purposes only. The limitation that I think will be, I might um, come across, will be the most um, library portals tend to limit access to users that are not paid up members or students, rather, and members of staff. So this might be a limit, a hindering factor. And the lack of previous or published studies in the in this research area in Zambia will be a limiter in the literature review as it is important, an important part of any research because it helps to identify the scope, the scope of works that have been done in any research area. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Thanks a lot for that. Uh... The call that was nice. Okay. Uh, you mentioned though you sound low. I, I hope you're not sick or something. Or maybe no, I'm not. No, no, no. To, I'm I'm trying to get away from the kids. <laughs> oh, okay, right. Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I should mention here that we, we've only been at it uh, at this with Doko and Dr. Kandorov for just a few weeks. So um, I, we think that Doko has actually made a tremendous progress in trying to cover out her proposal. Uh, but if there are questions, please the floor is open if you are interested in library portals. Now, usually if there's silences, there's always a question of, but why, right? Uh, maybe, that, uh, <laughs> maybe I wasn't clear enough or something. <laughs> More, I guess I have intimate knowledge of, of the topic, so I would say you were clear, more, more actually much, much clearer, but, but I don't know, maybe because I'm a part of this, so I, I'm somewhat attached to the topic. Don't know. Group C, C2K2, was, was that clear? Do you have a question? for me okay all right um uh, do you have a question though for the call happens to be the last person i guess but, oh sorry there's another group coming i mean this group sorry i forgot that the group we missed out um if there are no questions then we shall uh, if you are interested very at some point maybe towards the end of the year or next year the will give a presentation 